the Founders Gallery is, is the art space, and when the building was expanded, um, this art gallery, a, a, a very uh, nice and, and uh, perfect facility for exhibition of art, uh, was established, uh, but there was insufficient funds uh, for Canadian uh, Defense Forces um, to actually mount a gallery program. And so this space was sitting there unused. It was called the Founders Gallery because it was intended to um, uh, recognize um, those individuals who had played a lead role in establishing the new expanded facility there. So the Founders and their gallery. Our goal um, is both to provide uh, a recognition for the military experience, our uh, exhibition um, around the beginning of World War I uh, is a great example of documenting in, uh, in wonderful art uh, the Canadian experience in the world. At the same time, we also uh, exhibit works that convey the impact of war and violence. Uh, on, on various societies. My name is Lindsay Sharman and I'm the curator with the Founders Gallery at the Military Museums. It's a, a role through the University of Calgary um, and with it I, I curate exhibitions for a temporary exhibition space within the Military Museums. So we have about 4,000 square feet uh, where we schedule exhibitions that change about every three or four months. The exhibition that we have on now at uh, the Founders Gallery is called Barracks to Banks, Canadian Silk Screens for War and Peace. Uh, this is a project that was initiated um, by A.Y. Jackson and A.J. Casson uh, in the Second World War to provide soldiers um, with silk screens uh, with images of Canada. So what we usually associate with war art is those images of the front lines that are coming back to a Canadian audience. This is the flip side of that, where images of Canada are then sent to soldiers as comfort to remind them what they're fighting for, remind them what they're, they're suffering for. We have um, kind of a couple really interesting um, key pieces in the exhibition. You'll see behind me here uh, the piece by contemporary artist Douglas Copeland. Um, he's very, very interested in these very popular images of Canada. And so he's taken um, a you know, very typical um, Canadian lake with canoes in it and he's abstracted it to what you see here. We have A.J. Casson's White Pine, and it comes from the McMichael Collection in Ontario. The White Pine is one of the most iconic pieces of Canadian art and is incredibly important for Canadian art history. What a lot of people don't realize is that that oil um, that we recognize as this piece that's one of the key pieces in the McMichael Collection is actually based off of a silk screen. So A.J. Casson made the white pine as a silk screen uh, that came out of this wartime project. Then 10 years later, he copied that silk screen into an oil that was then purchased for in the McMichael collection and is now one of those key pieces in Canadian art. The gallery itself is open every day of the week. Um, the only day out of the year the museum is closed is Christmas Day. Um, and the exhibition is going to be on display until January 17th, uh, 2016. And you can find information on our website, which is founders.ucalgary.ca.